Hello, Move Easy Movers. Welcome to Move Easy with Move Easy, there, there. Move Easy Yoga with Kathy. Today is February 4th, 2022, or whatever day you're watching this. So I'm glad you joined us today. Uh, we're going to get to it in a minute. I just want to go over some really quick things. Um, we want to move slow when we move. It trains the brain for better movement. You want to become aware of your movement and your breath. If you have pain, you make your movement smaller, make it slower, or stop altogether and rest. No pain, no strain. We're going to start the way we always do with a warm up. On, with our legs on a chair. So legs on a chair, couch, table, whatever you've got that's handy. You wanna make sure that, let me scoot up here. Your hips and your knees are at 90 degree angles. If you have longer legs than I do, you might need to put something on your table or chair. We're gonna be here for seven minutes. Our arms can be at our sides, can be out in a T, or you can do a cactus pose. This opens up your chest and you just wanna breathe normally. Bring yourself into the room, into your space, into the class, and we'll start the timer. Seven minutes. So again, just breathe normally, bring your mind and your self into the class.
Okay, seven minutes is up. Stay where you are and slowly roll your head to the right and to the left, just three or four times. Wake up that neck a little. Hi, Milo. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to do the Vegas nerve reset. It's part of our warm up. So you're all familiar with that. You keep your head still you just move your eyeballs so you may hold your head if it helps or not and just move your eyeballs to the right until you feel a sigh a swallow a yawn or a gulp And then move your eyeballs only to the left until you feel that sigh, swallow, yawn, or gulp. And do that two more times on each side without my cueing. And finish up. Next, we're going to do head ramping. I have to readjust since I moved. There we go. So you can put anything you want behind your head. You can have your washcloths for support. You can use a sponge ball if that's comfortable for you. You can use therapy balls, which are my personal favorite. So just make sure you have something back by the, on the occipital ridge on the back of your head. And then just press the back of your neck towards the floor and hold it there for a breath or two. And then release. We'll do this two or three more times. So press. Hold. I'm feeling it today. I must have been release. Must have been looking down a lot. <laughs> Press. Hold. Release. One last time. Press. Okay, good job. I go back to the pillow for the breath work. Okay, and then next we're going to do breath work. Now, I thought about this, and we can do today, we can do whatever breathing you find most comfortable. I'm going to do um, Veloma breathing, which is three inhales takes three times to fill up the lungs and then one normal exhale three inhales hold and then one normal exhale if you want to do that with me that's fine if you want to do square breathing where it's inhale for four hold for four exhale for four hold for four that's fine 
Do you want to do um, extended exhale breathing where you count your inhale and then make your exhale longer? That's fine too. So it's sort of a free for all in breath today, but the Loma breathing is what I'm going to do. So when you inhale, you inhale a third of your lung capacity and pause. And then you inhale again, a second third and pause. And then you inhale the full capacity and pause and then a normal exhale. So. Notice I'm inhaling through my nose and exhaling through my mouth. I find for me that works better. Whatever works for you is just fine. One more. All right, good job, good job. Uh, go ahead and push the chair away for now. We're gonna need it again in a few minutes. So we're gonna stay on our, on our backs for just a minute. We're gonna do either, you have options here, one leg at a time, straight up and straight down, or you can do bent leg, straight up, straight down. If you can't do either, you can roll your leg out and then back, and then out and then back. So basically we're gonna just raise our leg until we feel the rest of our body engage. We're just doing the leg. So it may not go very high. We're not gonna do it super high, just until you feel your torso engage and then lower it back down. You're gonna do each side three or four times. So up and then down. You can put your hands on your hip flexors right where your leg joins your torso. You can feel that up and then down. Or if you're doing a bent leg, it would be up and then down. No pain, no strain. As soon as you feel that pull, that's where you stop. So up, it may only go as far as this, that's fine. Listen to your body. Up and then down. Last one. Up. Notice my foot is flexed as well. Up and down. Okay, we'll do the other one. Now the other leg can be straight or it can be bent. It can be straight or it can be bent. <laughs> so. Up. Now, when your leg is up, if your knee bends a little, that's fine too. Just don't push it. You wanna find the first resistance and that's where you stop. It may only be here, it may only be here. That's okay. Or bent legs, up and then down. It's harder when both legs are out.
this gives you actually more, more balance. Last one. Okay, good job, guys. Good job. Now we're going to do figure four. Okay, that's what I thought. Figure four. So when we're in this position with our knees bent and our, and our feet flat to do a figure four, and I'm going to lift my left leg. First, you pull the knee back towards your head. Then you put your ankle on your opposite knee. So, so it's never a twist. It's always back and then move the ankle. So what we're going to do is the toe handshake. And you may or may not be familiar with this. And that is when you thread your fingers through your toes. Like you're shaking hands with your foot. Now, if you can't do this with the figure four, you can sit in a chair if it's more comfortable for you or up against the edge of a couch if you find that more comfortable, if you can't be on your back. Um, but the idea is to get your fingers between your toes. And just shake, shake, shake. Play with your foot. It's always fun to play with your feet. Just move the foot around. Do circles, flex, and point. Whatever feels good. A lot of people ignore their feet and it's interesting because we depend on our feet a lot. So this, this feels good. <laughs> Now, when this feels complete for you, you can go ahead and release it. And we're just going to do a big toe and little toe stretch. So with one hand, hold on to your little toe. One hand, hold on to your big toe. And just gently, gently pull them away from the rest of the toes. Maybe move them around a little. Work with them. They, they get squashed into shoes so much. So little toe, big toe, just move them around. I always like working with my feet. I think I was a monkey in another life. Stretch them forward and back and away, and maybe to give them a little twist, gentle twist. Get some fluid moving in those joints. Okay. Kind of flex and point your toes a little bit just to warm them up. We'll move to the other foot here in a minute. My foot's waving at me. Hi. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's do the other leg. Now, remember, pull your knee back and then, oh, now I'm going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing. So now we're with the opposite foot, put your knee back, and then the, the foot goes over. So we're going to do the toe handshake. I have to start at the pinky toe. There we go. Get your fingers in there. Separate those toes. Those of you who have toe separators, 
It's a good idea to wear them during class. Just so your toes are separated. There's such a thing as too much togetherness when it comes to toes. Just move them around. Wake those feet up. Flex and point. Move your ankle around. Play with your toesies. Make sure your fingers get down in there. Mine tend to slide up. There we go. Okay. Now, when you're ready, you can remove your hand and just hold on to your big toe and your little toe and pull them away from the rest of the toes. Maybe move them around a little bit. Maybe give them a little twist, a gentle little twist. Okay, I could do this all day. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but we're not going to do this all day. That just wakes up my toes. I don't really like that. All right, so we're going to go to standing. So slowly bring yourself up to a standing position, <laughs> whichever way is comfortable for you. Let me get set up. Uh, we're going to do the six point foot release. So the first thing I'd like you to do while I'm getting set up here is just walk around the room and see how your feet feel. And we're going to do this again after we do the six point foot release. So just walk around. Your feet might feel a little different after that toe stretching we did. Figure out the best way to do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with the neuro ball if you have one. If you don't, you can use a regular therapy ball, a single. So but the neural ball would be the best for this. Okay. So I'm trying to get it to where you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So make sure you have a chair or something for support. And we're going to hold each point for 30 seconds. So we start with, and I'm sure you're all familiar, but we start with the center, the ball right below the four toes right below that area. We're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Now, while we're doing this, if you can, you wanna flex and point your toes, give them some more stretches. That always feels good. So 30 seconds.
Okay. Then we move down to the center of the foot, right in the middle of the arch. You have a round ball. Do not roll on the ball, just readjust it and move it. So 30 seconds. All righty. Now the next position is right either right on the heel or right below the heel, whichever is more comfortable for you. It's like we're on a high heel. I haven't worn high heels in years. Okay, 30 seconds. All righty. Now <clears throat> we move to the outside of the foot, directly across from the arch on the outside. Just find a spot that's comfortable for you. And again, here's an opportunity to flex and point your toes. Now the next spot is directly across from that on the inner part of the arch. This is my, my particularly most tender spot for some reason. So find a spot that works for you. 30 seconds. That went fast, 30 seconds, okay. And the last spot is right below the big toe mound, just a little bit further up the foot from where we just were. All righty, go ahead and shake that foot out a little bit. We're going to work on the left foot now. So again, the first position is right below the toes, right below the toe mound. 30 seconds.
It's okay. Next spot is directly below that in the middle of the arch. 30 seconds. Okay, and then we move further down the foot, either at or just next to the heel mound. 30 seconds. Okay, now we move to the outside of the foot, demonstrate on this foot, outside, right next to the arch, and that's a lot of sensory for me, I have to write, find just the right spot, 30 seconds. Okay, now we move to the inside of the arch, just directly across the foot. Thirty seconds, timer. Okay, now the last part is just below the big toe mound. And here we go. Okay, so that's it, um, but keep your chair where it is, and just walk around the room again. Just feel how your feet feel. Do they feel differently? Boy, mine do. Mine do. That really woke them up. <laughs> so if you have a neuroball, you can just put it back together for this next one, or you can use a regular... Um, Therapy ball. We're going to do heel lifts and the heel lifts with the ball. So, so back to your point of security, whatever that is. For me, it's this chair. And make sure your feet are straight ahead and even with each other. And then just lift and lower. And lower. <laughs> Up. And down. And down. Okay. 
Now go ahead and put a therapy ball or your neuro ball just back as far as you can on your feet. And hold it with your ankles or the back of your ankles. I've got mine behind my ears. And now pressing with the ball, lift your heels. <clears throat> Try not to lean forward. I was leaning forward. Just go straight up and down and up and down. Two more. Up and down and up and down. All right. Good job, guys. Now we're going to um, keep the chair there or whatever you have because we're going to now do balancing on one foot. So I have to move my platform a little bit. Just bear with me here. So you have options when you're trying to balance on one foot. Let me see if I can uh, move back a little bit and let you see me. Just bear with me. I'm not used to working in this room. There we go. Cut off my head. You don't need to see that part. Okay. So you have options when you're balancing on one foot. You can put your foot behind you and just hook it around your ankle. You can put it in front of you. Same thing. You can hold it behind you like that, or you can lift it in front of you. So whatever works for you, we're gonna balance on one foot each side for 30 seconds. See how well we do. I practice this in my kitchen because we have hardwood in the kitchen. But here in the living room, it's, it's harder for me to do. So make sure you have something to hang on to. 30 seconds. Wh whichever foot you choose, that's fine. Doesn't matter where you start. I'm starting balancing on my left foot. 30 seconds. Now the trick is, as I'm talking, I have to hang on is to look straight across the room and focus on something at eye level. There we go, 30 seconds. Now we'll try it on the other side. So again, standing in good posture to start with. And you have your options. So 30 seconds, go. All right, good job, <clears throat> excuse me, good job. Um, if you made the whole 30 seconds, that's great. If not, just, you know, do the best you can. I know I have for, on this platform, for some reason, I can't stand as well as I can on a flat floor, floor so. Okay. So since we're standing, we're gonna go ahead and do our back bend at the wall and our spine twist at the wall that we normally do. So let me adjust a little bit. So go ahead and find a wall or a door or whatever works for you. I have my fireplace. <laughs> so the first thing is the back bend at the wall. 
you're going to hold this position for 40 seconds. So let me find that thing. There it is. So our arms go up and our palms or our fingertips go against the wall. Our chest opens up, but our hips stay where they are. We'll hold this for 40 seconds. You can do this in a chair also. The idea is that we are stretching our upper back, our thoracic back, and it's a bone building exercise. Not sure which one that was, but they say hello. <laughs> Oh, 40 seconds, that's done. And now we'll do the spine twist at the wall. So I'm gonna start on my left side. So left foot forward, right foot back, elbows outwards, arms up. And then with your hips parallel along the wall, you rotate your shoulders until your palms are on the wall. If you can, you can put your forearms up, but palms are fine. And we'll hold this pose for 40 seconds. Okay, slowly come around and we'll do the other side. So foot closest to the wall is forward, opposite foot is back, elbows at your waist, hands up. Go ahead and rotate 40 seconds. Okay, so that's it for the wall. Let's go ahead and hit our mats again. <laughs> We're gonna do a couple of new things. So the first one we have actually done before, it's the slow bicycle. Um, we'll just do that a couple of times and then I'll show you a different stretch. Uh, so basically the bicycle, knees bent, feet on floor. You inhale, bring your knee towards your head. Exhale while you're in this position. Inhale or, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm backwards. Excuse me. Inhale, exhale, pull your knee back. Inhale, exhale, lift your foot up. As you lower your leg, take a deep breath. Ending with an exhale. And then inhale with the movement. Foot is flexed, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale as you go down. 
Inhale with the movement. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale with the breathing. If you want to do this at your own pace with your own breath, you can do that. This is what I found works for me. We're going to do one more on this side and then move to the other side. to the other side, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. More. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Oops, I did too much. <laughs> that was Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Okay. All right. Good job. Now, this next is a stretch that I've learned recently. Straighten your legs and put your arms above your head, elbows by your ears, just in a comfortable. It doesn't have to be straight up. It can be a relaxed cactus. And then lift your right leg just a few inches off the floor and your right arm, or left arm, excuse me, right leg, left arm. And just stretch your arm and stretch your leg. It's like a diagonal stretch. You can flex your foot and stretch with your heel. You'll feel it all the way up your leg. And just reach for that back wall and then relax. Now we'll do the other side, left leg, just a few inches off the floor, right arm, and then stretch that heel. And stretch with the arm and then relax. So one more time, left arm, right leg, a few inches off the floor, and then just stretch both of them. That stretch is going from your left arm to your right, your left fingers to your right toes. Oh, right heel, I should say. Your foot is flexed. And relax. Now, other side, left leg, foot is flexed, heel is pointing towards the wall. Right arm, and just stretch both of them. The arm and the oh. Okay. All right, that's it. We're going to do yoga nidra. So find a comfortable place. Make sure you're warm enough. Put a piece of cloth over your eyes if you choose. Make sure you're comfortable. Allow your awareness to flow to the points without moving any part of your body. Begin with your breath, breathe in, breathe out. Observe your abdomen as it rises and falls with the gentle flow of your breath. Now bring your awareness to the center of your eyebrows, 
the center of your throat, your right shoulder, elbow, wrist, right thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, right wrist, elbow, shoulder, center of your throat, left shoulder, elbow, wrist, left thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, left wrist, elbow, shoulder, center of your throat, spiritual heart center, right side of your chest, heart center, left side of your chest, heart center, navel center, center of your pelvis, right hip, knee, ankle, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, right ankle, knee, hip, center of your pelvis, left hip, knee, ankle, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, left ankle, knee, hip, center of your pelvis, navel center, heart center, center of your throat, center of your eyebrows. This concludes the 61 point guided meditation. Slowly begin to wiggle and stretch, stretch your legs out and your arms out, wiggle your fingers and your toes, feel the work we did on those feet. Stretch one side and then the other. When you're ready, press your right knee to your chest. And press your left knee to your chest. Press both knees to your chest. Roll back and forth. Feel that massage on the lower back. Go ahead and roll towards the camera using your lower arm as a pillow. And give yourself a moment here to thank your body and your cells and yourselves for coming today. And when you're ready, slowly come up to a sitting position. I'm going to change my view to gallery so I can see everybody. And you can unmute yourself at the same time. Remove the short the spotlight also. Remove the spotlight. Thank you. Remove spotlight. I do forget to do that. <laughs> All right. So hands to our heart. Let's push our hands together just briefly. Feel those shoulders. And then make it a gentle. And I want to thank all of you for coming today and allowing me to move with you. So remember, we are all lights in the universe. We are also all one light. We're going to end the class today by saying to each other, Namaste. 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 And thank you. Namaste. Thank, thank you, Kathy. I like <laughs> that big stretch, Kathy. That stretch? Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah.